Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Delta 2400 power supply. Um, we have an issue with it uh, turning itself off, so we're going to be investigating that issue. The other uh, four GPUs are working just fine, it's just these top GPUs that are on the Delta that are just turning off randomly. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, we have a farm here. This is uh, one of our smaller farms. We have uh, other videos on our channel on YouTube or GitHub, or um, not GitHub, on um, BitChute, on uh, Rumble and so on, where we have 800 GPUs, 600 GPUs, 500 and so on. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's get started. So we got this... Uh, <clears throat> motherboard here. It's a 12 GPU motherboard. It's running on HiveOS. We got four GPUs that are loaded on that power supply back there. So just four. It's got the risers and the GPUs loaded on it as well as the motherboard, CPU, RAM, all that other stuff is loaded on that uh, power supply. Now this Delta 2400 uh, should be powering just these other eight cards. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see them all powering off of the Delta here. So everything looks great, and then the, the question is why is this off? You can see that it's not on, it's just yellow. Um, so we're gonna be taking a look at that. Um, <clears throat> so how we uh, go about issues like this is first, we have to make sure that there is no physical damage, no physical problems with this rig, and uh, you know we take care of our rigs, and there shouldn't be anything wrong with it. The fact that it's off is most likely just the power supply is having either it's uh, too much load on it, which that's not supposed to happen as well because we only have eight GPUs. They're about 240 each, so 240 times eight. This power supply can do 2400 watts. So there's no way we're overpowering or taking too much power from the power supply. So that can't be the issue. So the issue has to be, and maybe some of these uh, plugs, maybe, maybe we're overloading a section of this, but Again, it's not supposed to happen. We are we are really not loading this thing at all. Oh, there you go. It just turned itself on. You saw that? What a coincidence. I was just making this video and now it turned itself back on. You see that? I did not do anything. So there is something wrong with this guy. Now we're, we're running these, uh, these uh, server PSUs everywhere. So this is the first one that actually has this problem. It might be actually just be a defect of the power supply. So we have one over here. We never had a problem with this one. And then if you watch our other videos, you'll see we have like the 800 GPU there, now it's off. We have the 800 GPU uh, farm. It, oh, they're running a whole bunch of these 2400s and none of them have this problem. Now it's off. So actually this is a really good example. You can actually see it live on video of what just happened to it. So like I said, it's not our GPUs. It's not these wires or anything like that. It's just the power supply here. So what we're gonna do to kind of investigate it is we're gonna take apart uh, this PSU, I'll try to do it with one hand here. So actually I want to turn off uh, the rig. Unplug this guy here. And uh, the, the, the issue might be the breakout board might have an issue. Let me try to do it with my right hand here. This is also one of our first testing units that we used when we were setting up this rig because this this motherboard is a 12 GPU motherboard. And we don't run 12 GPU motherboards anymore. We run just 13 GPU motherboards. This was one of our test rigs. But let's take a look at it here. So you can see the model. You can see it at 2400 watts. It's a brand new power supply. You can see it's in good condition. Nothing's wrong with it. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. So it, it's fine. And you saw it just turn on and off. So maybe there might be a uh, there might be a plug somewhere that maybe it's kind of glitchy, not fully in. Again, that's not supposed to cause it to shut down. I'm just kind of guessing here because this is the first time we actually have an issue like this. We never had issues like this. He might actually just have a problem. He might actually just be dead. Might be a defect. Well, we'll take a look at it. Um, and again, I'm just doing this with one hand. So I can't really unplug all these and take a look at it. Um, just what I'll tell you is on video and then you guys can kind of imagine me doing it. But one of the ways I'm gonna test for this power supply is unplug these uh, cords here, take a look at the breakout boards. Then also take a look at these coming in, into the GPUs. 
Um, and if I don't see anything, then um, I would try to run the power supply one more time. And if I still keep getting this problem, then I'll have to swap out that power supply and, and put like a test signifier on it just so I know that I already tried testing it or that it has a potential issue and try running it somewhere else because I need to be really, really sure that it's actually dead or there's a problem with it before I, uh, you know, start writing it off. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and I can't really do that with one hand. So you guys are really lucky you actually saw a live right on video of a problem like this. Again, first time we have it. Most of our uh, rigs at this location, they're just trying to EVGA 1600s. None of those ever have problems. If it breaks, it breaks. You know, we swap it out. We send it in for repairs, like these one up, ones up here. And then I got a Seasonic over there. So most of the time it's... So I figured out what the problem was. The problem was the breaker board, this one over here. Um, it wouldn't work. It would work for a couple of minutes and it'll turn off, on and off, on and off. Swap positions with it, with the other board. And it still had the same issue. So, replaced the board and now it's working just fine. You can see it turn on. And it's mining away. So, that was the problem. Now, I didn't get a chance to actually take apart the breaker board and take a look. If it had any damage or anything like that or what happened to it. Maybe it's just a defective product. Uh, it is pretty much brand new, only had it for a couple of months. But you know how things are, you might just have a small problem there, whatever it is. So that'll give you an idea of what happens. Um, if you have 2400 power supply, it kind of cycles. Or you see HiveOS lose you know, five cards, uh, four or five cards for no reason at all, then, and you're running one of these guys, or maybe you're running one of these guys you know, as a second one, then it give you a general idea of what could actually be the problem. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Hit like, subscribe with the bell. Go to Crypto LLC if you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm. And until next time, bye.